Hi and welcome to Adam Sharp channel on YouTube. My name is Mohammad Azam and in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to create joints in a space manager application or a space manager project type. Um, if you if this is the first video where you're watching I recommend that you check out the previous part in which I introduce a space manager control and how you can create uh, shapes and uh, start the space manager so that your scene will have the physics enabled okay so what are joints joints is basically between two bodies okay when two when you connect two bodies in different ways it can be a pulley joint it can be a groove joint a motor joint a, a pivot joint a spring joint and there are just so many kind of joints available in space manager which uh, you can easily use okay so we are going to use um, spring joint and uh, and you'll see that how easily you can add a joint between two bodies okay so if I run the application right now this is the previous application so this is what we did in the previous uh, I would say previous video it's just a ball dropping on a large block and it falls down okay so we're going to add a joint between a this large green block and the ball Let's go ahead and do that. First, let's go ahead and center the block in the middle. Uh, window size dot width divide by two. So that will, you know, that will put the block in the middle. We don't really need to rotate the block. All right. Now let's go ahead and uh, implement the join. Uh, the join is implemented by a constraint. Okay. So uh, you create a constraint. And you can say a joint and the space manager has many different kind of joints add spring to body and all that stuff all right so uh, join to body so this will be the two and we are just going to say ball dot shape and then we are going to do create the join on the body structure and then this will be at the block dot shape uh, creating on the body structure stiffness um, if you put a large stiffness then it will you know it will resist kind of like a spring so let's go ahead and well large stiffness will actually be yeah it will resist so let's actually put 20 over here and see what it is you need to create CB constraint node which is a join node and then you can simply add that CB constraint node and uh, in uh, node with constraint basically all right and then simply add that self add child uh, joint node now you can do everything that I'm doing in a chipmunk framework because this is a wrapper on top of chipmunk okay and now there's a there should be a join between these two bodies and that's why the uh, what is it called the the ball it's not really falling off okay let me see if I can actually change the joint color so I'm just gonna say joint node dot color equal to CC green you can change uh, also the width so let's uh, go ahead and run this and you can see now that there is a joint over here the spring joint right over here and uh, you know it has a stiffness of 20 so it's not letting the ball fall off so if I change the stiffness to I don't know let's say 5 you will see that uh, it's kind of a loose spring okay well it's not even letting it fall right now but eventually you know if you uh, tilt the I think if I tilt out this to minus 0 0.17 or something if I just make it a little bit uh, slant or inclined or declined you will see that it uh, it might fall actually so here's the ball is going ball is connected with a joint but the joint is pretty loose so it, it will actually fall on the ground okay so this is a very easy way that you can add a joint and you can actually see the joint is stretching and uh, compressing depending on where the ball actually moves so this was a very easy way to add a joint between two bodies 
and uh, you know that's pretty much it so now you can add uh, add different kind of joints uh, this was a spring joint you can add a gear joint a groove joint a pulley joint a pivot joint a motor joint and the list just goes on okay that's pretty much it I hope you like it and uh, thank you very much